Pastor Van 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 here. Greetings, Omochineke. Greetings, lovers of freedom. <laughs> a quick one, a quick one. Uh, Attorney Aloy Ejimako is back in his elements. Attorney Aloy Ejimako is back in his wisdom. He's back as a Biafra attorney. He's back as an intelligent man. And you need to watch this video. And uh, <laughs> it keeps baffling me that their obsession of my prime minister, Mad Simon Epa, <laughs> has no limits. <laughs> they are obsessed. They are obsessed with the dragon. They are obsessed with Obatoje. And he's giving them Woto Woto. The restoration of Biafra is sacrosanct. And Mad Simon Epa is the man for the job. Well done, Anthony Alloy. Thumbs up for this uh, interview and uh, it is good uh, and the uh, next time when they try that nonsense walk out on them it is allowed okay when they try that nonsense they invite you and they ask stupid and senseless questions walk out on them it is allowed we are Biafras and we know what we are doing and Rafael Chamaka Jere aka Pastor Van 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 Ebon watch this video watch this interview from a lawyer in Macro at the useless AIT channel. Dojo, watch this video and make it go viral. I can bring peace to the Southeast. These were the words of the incarcerated leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, shortly after his bill was denied on Tuesday. Namdi Kanu has been in and out of detention since October 2015 for what the government has described as anti-state activities. Since then, the Southeast region has been the hotbed of violence with various groups blaming the rise in conflict on Kanu's continued incarceration. This is what he had to say following his appearance in court on Tuesday. Anybody committing can cannot go scot free. I swear it. They cannot go scot free. Anybody involved in any type of crime in the East cannot go free. And they're doing it because I'm, 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 I'm in DSS. That's why even once I no idiot can try this rubbish. And they know it very well. They know it very well. And I suspect that some people in government are complicit. Yes. They are making money with insecurity. Yes. They are making money with it. They know now the can is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the idiot? Who is the bagger? That will, that will speak when I'm talking. Who, who is the fool? Who is the idiot? I ask. That I give an order in the East and an idiot to counter it. Who is the, who is the bastard? I'm asking you. Okay, yeah. so, Nobody can. Sir, are you a. I'm not the canon. No. Who is the idiot? Rubbish. No, no, don't. Joining us in the studio is Barrister Aloy Echimako, Kanu's lead counsel. Thank you for joining us on AIT It's my pleasure. Report. Thank you. Now, quickly, is Inamdi Kanu trying to work the system, the judicial system, by impressing his relevance on peace in the Southeast? Yes. Um, first of all, we're happy that for the first time since he was renditioned in 2021 and detained, yesterday was the first time he had a full opportunity, ample opportunity, to speak to the media. It's been us lawyers speaking for him. So it was the turning point. The next big thing that happened yesterday that he, was, he spoke to the media and he made himself very clear. And I'm happy Nigerians listening to him and they've heard what he had to say about insecurity in the South East, which is key to what happened in court yesterday that made us very unhappy. Everybody else knows this except the presiding judge. This was one reasons why we had to bring a fresh application okay, um, uh, for his bail in order to see how we can, through the process of court, assist in combating or containing that insecurity in Southeast. Okay, Namdi Kanu has called for violence in the past on his Radio Biafra platform, so on both security persons and citizens alike. So why the, uh, the turnaround? Uh, saying that if, if he gets bail, uh, um, he can assure that there will be peace in the No, you are totally wrong. He never called for violence. He called for safe defense. Uh, because, it, because, you can, because we can clearly see that you can, you can, in 2020, the NSAS protest, if you Google it now, you can get that information on where he, he called for an attack on uh, 
the governor, Son Wolu, and some other. No, I, I recall. Figures. I recall an interview he did with uh, the Ovation Magazine publisher. What's his name again? Ovation Magazine publisher. <laughs> that was. Um, an interview he did with him. I, recall, I remember his name before we finished. He did an interview because of what you just said, the misunderstanding, the misconception, the misrepresentation of what he had said during NSAS. So he clarified himself. He was calling for self-defense of the Southeast okay. and for people to employ self-defense to defend themselves against those that are living the insecurity in the country. Okay, so... Um, let's, let's, let's just say, okay, uh, if his intentions are genuine, um, how does he hope to achieve this peace? Well, his personality, force of personality, is sufficient. He's a man with millions of followers. His voice is very strong in this country. He cannot take that away from him. His sheer force of character, his charisma, and his capacity to rally people to do the right thing, those things are key to combating this insecurity, and he, he, can, he, he, he can do it. He, he, he clearly does have a lot of supporters, and, and some of his supporters are complicit in uh, asking for violence, preaching violence, people like Sam Epa. Uh, what is, what, what, what's your take on that? Mazin Mamikar has been in detention since 2021, and they are trying to make him responsible for what is happening out there, that he doesn't have okay. anything to do with. Oh, oh. He okay. cannot be guilty by association. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's, let's, let's get back to the beginning. And if, as, the as, people, as he's incarcerated the, the now... The people, the people, eh? the people as, as no, no, hold on. The people that you are assuming uh, to be his supporters, oh. some are genuine, some are not. Some are credible, some are not. You cannot attribute anybody to Madden and the oh, 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 okay, that stands okay. to say he's okay, a okay, supporter. Okay, okay. There, has, there, has been violence, have there have been violence it. perpetrated in the Southeast and there have been links to his continued detention. They have been linked to his detention. So, uh, how, how can you say that um, these supporters are not his um, supporters, or they are not? Okay. And and, if, and even if he, 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 they they are not his supporters, as he's incarcerated, uh, his supporters are not listening to him. So, how are we sure that him getting bail will mean that his supporters? Okay. Listen? See, you are attributing what people say, what people do to Mazen Namdekan out there. It's very unfair. He spoke up for himself yesterday. He said he's not in support of any violence and criminality. And I think, which I think he should be taken at his word. You know, any, you know, the, the witch cried at night and the baby died in the morning. Doesn't necessarily mean that the witch killed the baby. So if somebody says, oh, I mean, involved in violence because I'm not the Kano's supporter, you take it at face value, is unfair and is being disingenuous. At the same time, I think it's what Nam the Kano says if he claims such a person for himself. If he supports what that person is doing, then you can attribute it to him, but not as he didn't. And he made it clear yesterday that he doesn't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so, so um, the, the seat at home position in the South is, uh, is, 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 is bleeding the co in the country. What is uh, Nandu Kanu's position on this um, seat at he, home? He order? did not speak to it yesterday, but there's uh, something you need to understand. There are millions of people in the South East that are not happy with Nande Kano's detention. It has gone beyond IPOB. The entire South East is roiling. Igbos are not happy. He's been detained illegally. You should know that since 2021. Millions of people are not happy. And if they react by sitting at home on Mondays, you cannot go and drag them out of their houses. In the past, he had made it clear to the public that he no longer wished anybody to sit at home for him. But if people volunteer on their own to sit at home on Mondays to put pressure for his release, you shouldn't blame them and you shouldn't blame Nam de Kano either. It, under, it underscores his popularity and it also underscores the manifest injustice that has been done to him. So he doesn't support Nam de Kano, I'm sorry, he doesn't support um, Sam Epa. Is that what you are saying, that uh, Sam Ekpa is not his supporter and See, he's not a when, supporter when, of Sam Ekpa? See, this, this interview was scheduled impromptu and I had to rush to come in here. I didn't come in here to discuss Simon Ekpa and Namdekano. I thought, okay, fine. I thought I was coming here to discuss legalities. I'm Namdekano's late counsel. I'm waiting for you to ask me questions about the injustice being done to Namdekano, and you're asking me other questions. I don't think I, sh I should address those ones. It's uh, beyond my scope for now. 
Okay, thank you very much, Barrister Aloy Ejimako, Kanu's Lead Counsel. Um, welcome and thank you for your time on thank the you. report. Thank you, thank you very much.